Hey there, I am Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So, yesterday on forum, we saw an announcement that Tvilua activities are now available for public preview. And it's very interesting as a content creator, as an UI path lover, to explore every new set of activities that are released. So this video is completely about that. As you can see the title as well, we are going to explore the Twilio activities released by UI path for public preview. So first let's see the post Twilio activities public preview release. So what we can do using Twilio. So Twilio, we can send messages. We can do a voice call through our UI path. And it's very easy and in the next 10 minutes, will be able to send messages through UI path. That's a normal text message to a given mobile number. So how you can use that packages. So what you simply need to do is go to manage packages and make sure you have selected included pre-release UI path only and activities in the filter. Then you need to install this set of activities. UI path dot Twilio dot activities. As you can see, there's an update as well available but I'm fine with this one. I will update it later and you see it's over here. Okay. So let me just simply cancel this. And now we have three set of activities inside this. Twilio scope, send message and make voice call. So there are two features available by Twilio which we can do is send message and make voice call using the API key. You can see over here, account SID, API key, API SID. So first let's see how we can get this credentials quickly within two minutes. So what you need to simply do is go to twilio.com and use your Gmail account to log in. So once you have done the login, you will be seeing the account SID over here, which you can simply copy. Don't worry, I'm going to delete this credentials so no one can use it. You will have to create your own account. You see, I've used my Gmail account and I'm logged in as part Doshi. Now next, what you need to do is here you will be seeing an option, get a number. Just simply click on that and whichever random number comes, just click on OK. So this is how you have got your number and account SID. Now what other credentials are required? That is API key and API key SID. So what you need to do is you need to go to settings. Okay. So once you go to settings, you see option API key. Okay. So here is create new API key. I have already created one, so I don't require. You need to give any friendly name, which I've already given and standard and master. After that, you need to click on create API key. Once you click, you will be seeing your credentials, these two credentials, API secret and API SID, and they will be visible only once. You can't get them again of the same API key. So make sure you note that down in a secure location as I have in my notepad. Going back, since I've already created one, it's not required for me. See, the friendly name I have given is UI path trial and here is my SID and similarly I have got my key secret as well. So I have got all the credentials you see user is equals to key SID and password is equals to key secret. So right now as you can see we have got the SID, we have got the account SID, we have got the API key SID and we have got the API key secret. Now what you need to do is you need to give all the credentials to Twilio scope. Now once you do that, first we'll be seeing how we can send a message. So let me drag a message. From is the number that I need to give from here. Let me go back to dashboard. Okay. And from is this number. Let me just copy this and paste it over here in double quotes. Now going to two. Here I'm giving my Indian mobile number and make sure you specify the country code over there. Now what you need to give is body. So let me just maximize it over here. Hello. Sending this message from UI path using send message activity of Twilio this is really amazing. Okay. So this is my body, basically the message that I want to send. Now, one more very interesting thing is you can also give the media as well as a list of string. Now, what are the instructions given? 
list of media up to 10 to send with message the media size limit is 5 mb for supported files png jpeg and gif and 500 kb for other types of accepted media okay we are not going to send any media first let's just explore the basic things okay so now as you can see i have successfully you know created the workflow given all the credentials i have built the send message activity and the message to be sent hello okay this is one we need to make it exclamation mark okay so let me save this and once i get on the message i will show you the message as well let me minimize this so once the workflow gets completed let's wait for me to receive the message okay so here it says now the workflow is successfully completed okay so now let me show you the message whether i have received or not so now as you can see on my screen the message is there sent from twilio trial account hello sending this message from uipath using send message activity of twilio this is really amazing this was what the message we had typed and we have got the message on my android mobile phone to my specified number so you say this is very amazing now you can send otps you can send other verification messages whatever you require you can first we used to send a mail for confirmation now you can send the sms as well using this set of activities and this is really amazing now we are going to see the next activity which is how i can call to my this number and give a specified message that will be spoken so let's do that okay so let me just simply comment this out uh, okay and now i'm going to use make a voice call okay so the from to and everything is going to be same copy paste to copy to paste okay I'm not sure whether I will be able to show you all the output which I will be getting on my phone. Okay, so the voice call. Now you see here also the properties were same from to and say what you want to be spoken by our bot on that call that also can be given from here. And this is also really amazing that you can directly specify what you want to speak on that call. So before running this what i will do is i will show you all my phone screen so that you all can easily see how i am getting the call once the execution is completed over here so let's do that now this was the message that we have received now what i am going to do is i am going to run my workflow run file and let's wait for the call to appear over here and now as you can see on my screen that i am receiving a call from that number full account press any key to execute your code so when i press any key i will be seeing Hello. that output sending this message from UiPath using send message activity of twilio this is really amazing okay so the execution is completed but i am not sure whether you were able to hear what was being spoken on the call but this same message was spoken on the call and the call got cut after that so you see this is very interesting set of activities that we just saw in this video you can send messages to your mobile number you can make a voice call that also through uipath this is a one of the great integrations provided by uipath so if you need any documentations they are available over here if you have any queries with getting the credentials you can definitely contact me
and on forum everything is available step by step with the demo workflows so i hope you find found this video very interesting and learned something new thank you for watching the complete video please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet thank you